Hey. How's it coming? Well, it's coming. Thank you. Your back's still bothering you? Yeah, a bit. Can give it a good rubbing this evening. Yeah, that'd be nice. Do you mind coming inside with me for a minute? What for? I gotta hang that window before nightfall. Well, I can't lift the crock pot all by myself. <sighs> all right. Hey, well, what are you doing? I don't have time Chelsea. for this. <laughs> cards do you want, huh? Uh, 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 see, not your turn. We go this way. No, 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 no. Remember? Sorry? It's this way. We go this way. Remember? This way. We go this way. It's all right, Davey, how many cards do you need? One. Oh, all right, gunslinger. One card. How many cards do you need? Three, please. Three. Okay. And I'll take two. Okay, no. Not not your turn again. Remember, it's your brother's turn. All right, let's see what you got here. Oh, get a pair. That's pretty good. What do you got? A flush. A flush. What kind of gunslinger has his mom help him cheat? Hmm? Where's that poker face? There. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to watch him. <laughs> Let's do it again. All right. Bring your cards in. Here we go. Go, Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Stevens. Oh, man. How much work do you still have? Uh, I gotta replace all the shutters and windows due to the winds that are coming in. And then I'll probably have to start working on the roof. It's not raining for a while, but. Yeah. It's going to take a while to fix that ride. You got me and the boys to help you. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Happy window? Yeah, I'll finish that one. I'll make my way around the back of the house. And hopefully I'll get started on the roof by the week's end. Yeah, you have all summer. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Not me and the boys. We'll help you, Pa.
What's that? It's horses. Oh, 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 stay put. Are you expecting anyone? No. Unless the sheriff bar. He said he might drop by to help out. Come by today, but... But I don't know who else he'd be bringing with him. seen him before. They're just here to get some water. Just make sure they keep moving along. You get the boys and you go get hit. for Mr. William Stevens. Who's asking? who you are, mister. <coughs> Best be watching your tone, Sheriff. <sighs> okay. What is this? Okay, what do you want? Revenge. Sorry, I don't recognize you. Did I do something to wrong you, son? Huh? The only person who had the right to call me son was my father, who you shot in the back and killed in cold blood. Now, who is that, Will? Just me here. I'm all by myself. Will, you lying to me. Sit him up in that chair. This is somebody's birthday, Will. I'm out! I'm out wherever you are. Must be somewhere else in the house. Who's your father? John Horn. No. Not the John Horn. Indeed. That make you his son, Lee. Boy, the apple didn't fall far from that tree. I will kill you. And tell you to get up. Ah! Well, who do we have here? You dead! Now tell me, which one of you handsome young boy's birthday is it today?
Beg my pardon, is it the birthday girl? Are you all right, honey? I didn't tell you to speak, Will. <laughs> What's your name, young lady? Don't answer him. Will, you're being very rude. <laughs> my name's Lee Horn. What's your name? When someone sticks out their hand, it's polite to oblige and shake their hand. My name is Lee Horn. What is yours? Selena. Nice to meet you, Selena. I'm sure you already met my good friends. This is one of the famous Bell brothers, Chris. That's his big brother, Joe. Rush and Pete. And Tommy Cliver, the El Paso kid. Didn't know you had such a beautiful daughter, Will. Daughter, his wife. <laughs> well, you are quite the stud for a broken-down old cowboy. I mean, happy birthday, darling. Will's birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday today. Had I known, I'd bought you a present. What is it you want, okay? I'll get it for you. I told you, revenge. I've got like thirty dollars. All right. And I've got a couple horses, and I've got some guns that are still working. So you're placing the value of human life on guns, horses, and 30 mangy dollars? You have nothing to offer, Will. If I want something, I'll just take it. Keep my wife out of it! Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. What are you doing with a broken-down, cowardly old lawman like this for, anyway? I find no coward! <laughs> Shooting a helpless man in the back, killing him in cold blood. My father said you were tough, tougher than nails, that you weren't afraid of anything. You may not be afraid of what happens to you. What about your boys? No! No! Keep my kids out! No! What about this little boy here? Ah! Stuff in power. You leave my kids out of it! You laughing at? You think that's funny? Let's see what's funny. No, please, please, Hey, what is not funny? This is funny! How about this? Huh? Let's have some fun! Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's have some fun, Will! Lee, what are you doing? No, please! Please don't touch my kids! You should have killed me when you had the chance. When you killed my dad. No. Are you sure he doesn't come after me? No. <laughs> I've this day for a long time, Will. I grew up hearing stories about you. How fast you were. You never missed. Always got your man. I've been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> and it's turned out way better than I expected. Let's have some fun, girl. Get on. <laughs> Make it watch. Next. Well, I'm next, boss. Get in there. Yeah. Take my hand off of this one, eh? I think we're just about even. What do you think, Will? Look at me, Will. I know you got some life in you, old man. Look at me. Look at me! Get in there, Chris. You just about the sweetest thing I ever seen. Give me your present.
pistol. What in the hell are you doing? I said, give me your pistol. Get away. Get away from me. Oh, what's the matter, you drunkard? You dropped your boots. <laughs> oh. Well, that stinks. You ever hear a soap, you son of a bitch? Come on. Can't you get up, you drunk? Hey. Oh, Easy, mister. You're just a town drunk. Help her up. Pick up them groceries. Now apologize. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah. How do you do, Frank? I haven't seen you in a coon's age. Been out on the trail, have you? Running down those uh, cattle rustlers and murderers. I guess you'd be getting a room over at the billiards. Uh, we had some trouble yonder a few months back. Huh. Bad bunch of boys came through here and raped a woman, killed our whole family. Husband and kids, Frank. It was an awful mess. I, I wish you would have been here. So how long you plan on staying this time? How much? Uh, let's see. That'd be uh, 26 cents. I always feel safer when you're in town, Frank. Allison. How are you, Frank? Suppose you'll be needing a room. Same as usual, corner room upstairs around the back? Yeah. The money's always good here, Frank. You stay as long as you like. Town always feels safer when you're here, Frank. Good talking to you, Frank.
Can't help you none, Frank. I haven't seen half these men before. I haven't even heard of them. Well, you think they know better than to come looking for trouble in this town, though, huh? Hold on a second. I know this son of a bitch. That's Lee Horn. He come through here a couple months ago with his gang, killed the whole family on the outside of town, raped the wife, left her for dead. She's still alive? Yeah. He's in a real bad way now, though. You know, drunk all the time. Understandably so. What does she look like? He looks like a drunk, I reckon. <laughs> she still lives on the outskirts of town. She comes into town maybe twice a week, pick up her hooch. Mind her own business. She don't bother nobody. I was to help her husband that day on the house. And, uh, my wife was sick on account of being pregnant and all. So I didn't go. But when I went the next day, found her. Lord, what a mess. She said Lee Horn come and murder her whole family. Hey Frank. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Always feel safer when you're here. What is it? Some movement in these rocks. I don't see nothing. What y'all looking at? They saw movement over near the rocks. Nice and easy. What seems to be the problem, Deputy? Plenty. Their latest transgressions were robbing those banks down in Benson and Douglas. But the worst of all was the murder of Will Stevens and his boys. Most recent transgressions. Those are big words, boys. It means this man's educated. It makes him even more dangerous. Let's not have no shooting there, Lee. Enough people have been killed. Indeed, why would there be more shooting? We don't want any trouble, sir. Grab their ammo. Interesting what he said. What? He mentioned Will Stevens and the boys. Didn't say anything about the wife. You did do what I told you to. I told him to, Lee. 
He wouldn't do it. Hell, he didn't even have his time with her like the rest of them. Is that so? Wasn't no need to kill her. We were there for the sheriff. You never said nothing about him having a wife and kids. And what difference does that make? They were children, Lee! Well, now, come on now, boss. I mean, it don't matter none if we, we didn't kill her, right? Yeah, it does, you idiot. She's a witness. How the hell do you think that deputy knew about it in the first place? We go to Mexico, what difference does it make? You best get going, boss. Do anything like that again, and I'll kill you. Boss, that's not the way to Mexico. We're not going to Mexico. We're going back to business. Not theirs, Frank Allison, best bounty hunter in the West. Hey, hey. Can I get you anything, Frank? Samuel got any of that stew? Sure does. I'll tell him to get you a bowl. Anything else you want? Selena, suppose you'll be wanting your usual. Her usual being whiskey. Frank, she's hurting. They don't keep it a liquored up all the time. Isn't gonna help her. It's what she wants, Frank. Bring her some soup. yourself cleaned up. You're the lady whose family was murdered. I may be looking for these men. Best was to talk to you about. But here you are talking to me. I have some pictures. You can look at him if you want. Tell me if the same men. Can you tell me how many there were? Five. 
They respect me, them. Everything okay here? There's your soup, Selena. Gonna get cold. You're not a lawman. You're a bounty hunter. I want you to teach me how to shoot. Pardon? Teach me how to shoot. No. Why? Why not? You want to protect yourself, wear one of them garters on your leg under your skirt. Keep a small blade in it. For me and the lady. Go back and sit down and get something to eat in your stomach beside whiskey, like Mr. Allison said. Also. In we. Henry, how many you want? I'll take two. Frank. <laughs> I'm you. Guess what, Frank? I don't want to you. Uh, check. Check. Uh, how's that look? Looks good to me. 40 cents. Frank's probably gonna bump it up. Just call him, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll call. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> He's got nothing. Henry. Three jacks. <laughs> well, I got you. I got a string. What do you got, Frank? Flash. Again? Come on! Uh, that Frank is an appropriate for sure. Hey. You, uh... You hungry, Selena? No. That's it for me, fellas. I'm out. Take care. Good playing with you. All right. Not much fun, just the four of us. I can play. You know how? Well enough. You got money? Looks good to me. <laughs> right? You, uh, you all right? Lady playing? Queens. Well, I got you beat, Frank, because I got three jacks. Two tenths for me. I got y'all beat with a straight. That's it for me, fellas. Lady has broke me. Yeah, it's getting late. <sighs> Better be heading home. All right, back to work for me, fellas. Ma'am, see later, Frank. Come on, Selena. I cleaned up. What did you say? I cleaned up. Good. You gonna teach me to shoot? I can pay you. Give you back all this money you lost today. I don't need your money.
Besides, what do you want to learn how to shoot for? Please. Frank, please teach me how to shoot. Well, I'm supposed to run out in the morning, but... Suppose I could stop by for a bit. Sheriff says you live on the outskirts of town? Yes. About a mile west. Stephen's place. You can't miss it. Thank you, Frank. Said I would. I did what you told me. That's good. Am I going to teach you or not? Come in, please. Haven't kept the place as clean as I should have the past few months. That's your husband? Yes. Will Stevens, right? You knew him? Knew of him. Lawman out of Texas. Would you like a cup of coffee? That'd be nice. Please. Thank you. Thank you. All those years married your lawman. He never taught you how to shoot? Wasn't no need to. But now there is. Why is that? I ain't got no one protecting me anymore. Fair enough. First things first. Your grip. You gotta be tight. You gotta have a loose hand. You got a loose hand, you ain't gonna hit anything. I said tight. All right. All right. Hold it out there. Don't lock your elbow, but don't bend it too much either. Gonna kick right back and hit you in the face. The fella broke his nose like that once in a gunfight. Made a mess. Gonna look right down your arm. Right down the sight there. Got it? Pull the trigger? No, not yet. Let's start over. Why? Pulling the trigger is the easy part. Learn how to draw, how to aim. That's the rough part. We're going to do it over and over. I don't need to learn that. Over. I need to learn how to shoot, Frank. It won't make any difference. If you don't learn how to draw properly, you'll be dead already. I don't need to learn how to draw. I need to learn how to kill a man. All right, then. You can draw quicker. Shoot before me, then you're ready to practice shooting. What are you waiting for? Holster that weapon. When you're ready, draw. If you beat me, shoot me dead. I'm not gonna tell you again. Look, I've never shot a woman before. I'm not planning on doing it now. But if you're gonna be stubborn, you best beat me to the draw if you want me to keep practicing with you.
are you going? We're done. What do you mean we're done? Just that. Wait! Wait! Where do you think you're going? Wait! Wait, Mr. Allison, will you just wait for one moment? Where are you going? Mr. Allison, wait! That I was sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I, I will listen to you. Just wait! Mr. Allison! Please don't leave me! killed Deputy Thompson. They killed him and his whole posse on the old Spanish trail. They're killing everybody, Frank. Everybody in their path. Who's that, Sheriff? Lee Horn! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Frank? How many men can you round up? Oh, I don't know. Folks are scared to death after what Lee Horn's gang done to Selena and her family. How many? Well, I think none, Frank. I reckon it'd just have to be you and me then. Now, hold on now. Why, why don't I get on the wire to Tucson? See if I can get us some help. Get on the wire then. But if Horn gets here before help arrives, we'd better be ready for him. Get on that wire. Way to get yourself killed. Thought you were leaving. What are you doing here? I want you to finish teaching me how to shoot. Well? I'll be back by tomorrow. This whole street you're gonna have to pull straight up and out. Or else it's gonna hang up every time. Try it. All right, well, let's try shooting, all right? Remember, arm out in front, both eyes open. Don't cross in front of your body or you won't shoot straight. Now we're gonna squeeze the trigger. Don't yank it, but make it one fluid motion. Don't pull it halfway, commit to it. You yanked. No, I didn't. I squeaked. You yanked. Okay. Okay. Can I try again? Give you something to shoot at. Maybe that'll help. Try and remember everything I told you. We expected to hit it. Yes. Take you a hundred tries, and that's if you're lucky. What are you waiting for? You got three more shots in that gun. Shoot.
You're reloaded. You know you're holding your breath. No. I told you it would take a while. Yeah, you said that already. How many men have you killed? Twelve. I've killed twelve men. Is it hard to shoot someone? Shooting him is not hard. Killing him is something else entirely. But you only kill a man when he tries to kill you. Or maybe he deserves to die. Wouldn't be my right to judge that. But what if they'd done something so horrible that... Like what Lee Horn did to you. Yes. Be my duty to turn him over to the law. But what if it was your family, your life? You'd kill him, Mr. Allison. You know you would. Yeah. Yeah, I'd kill him. Damn it! See you tomorrow morning. I ain't learned to shoot yet. All day and I didn't hit a damn bottle. You said you'd teach me to shoot. Tomorrow then. Nice shooting. Frank? Selena? How are you? Frank, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? Why don't you reload and uh, keep practice? Tucson dispatched a couple of U.S. Marshals and a couple of deputies to come out here after they got my wire. <laughs> well, got word that they found Lee Horn. So they set up a, a whole ambush in this place called Dog Creek on the Gala Trail about two days ago. Yeah, I know the place. Well, a mail messenger found him dead. Who? The two U.S. Marshals and the deputies. Guy on the trail, that is the main road into town. Yeah, well, any idea how soon they'd be here if they was to come from Dog Creek? About two days, I reckon. Uh, what about Tucson? They sending anyone? Uh, no, no, no. They got, they got half a regiment tracing some Apaches up, a, up the side of a mountain. They said they can't spare anyone for a week. Anyone else you can call on? Well, that would be Deputy Thompson. But Lee killed him. They're all dead, Frank. There ain't nobody left. <laughs> Lee Horn done killed them all. So what are we gonna do?
Why don't you stay here tonight? Pardon? You're just gonna be back here in the morning. Put down your things. I'll make us some supper. Don't reckon I've ever had a roast this good before. Pot roast is Will's favorite. Eat it every day. Breakfast, lunch, and supper. Stick his nose in the kitchen. Say, cooking a roast? No, Will. Vegetables, chicken, bread. He always thought he smelled a pot roast. You have everything you need, Mr. Allison? You can call me Frank. Good night, Frank. Cowboys, welcome to the Bisbee Saloon. Samuel, we got customers. What's your name, good looking? John. Well, I'm Scarlett. It's a pleasure to meet you. And who are your friends? Their names are important. Samuel, you got customers. <laughs> Howdy, gentlemen. What can I get you? Get my boys a room. And there's more where that came from. Right away. Velma, Raquel! You girls, get over here. Raquel, honey, come on. And where's your room, darling? See you boys later. Let's find out. Right now I want you to try and move and shoot. Those bottles are too far away. You can't pick your distance in a gunfight. That's the idea. I want you to try and find a spot, fire two shots from cover, just keep their heads down, and then try and get closer. Go on. From behind cover. You fire from behind cover only, otherwise you're gonna get shot. You understand? Go on. Damn it! Takes time. What am I doing wrong? Just a lot different. You're moving now, it takes a lot of practice. When you get the cover, take a second. Don't rush your shot. Know where you're gonna shoot before you do. See it without looking, then shoot. That makes sense? This is what it's like in a real gunfight? Go. Yeah. 
a shoot? You gonna answer my question? About what? This is what it's like in a real gunfight? You can answer that. Why not? Because each one's different, that's why. Bottles don't shoot back. Hey, Tommy! Hey, hey, hey. Get a walk with Go on, have a drink! Sheriff Barr. Why don't you come on in and have a drink? That's all right, Samuel. <laughs> Maybe later. We're here. Sheriff Barr's a good man. He, he don't mind strangers stopping over him now and again. Sheriff! Yeah, I do. Name's Joe. Hey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, Sheriff Barr, how are you? I hope you don't mind me and my boys stopping in for a bit of a rest. We've been on the trail a few days, so. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Where are you all from? We're on a cattle drive up near Douglas. We're just on our way back down to Naco. So. All right, well, you're welcome to stay as long as you need. OK. And, uh, Samuel here, he's got some of, the, some of the finest rooms in town, so make yourself comfortable. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Sure do like reading, don't you? Mm-hmm. Why? Trying to educate myself. And it helps me relax. Hmm. Now we should get back to shooting. Frank, Sheriff, Selena, Sheriff Barr, it's good to see you again. Frank, I need to speak to you for a minute. Selena, would you uh, excuse us for a minute, please? How do you know it's Horn and his gang? They got that look, Frank. They're murderers. I can see it in their eyes. You actually see Horn? Frank, I'm telling you. Did you see Lee Horn? No, I did not see Lee Horn, but I know he's here. I know it's them, Frank. I know it. I'm sorry, but I know it's them. You're not thinking of taking them on all by yourself, are you? Not here in Bisbee. I reckon I am. If you're not gonna help you me. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Selena. Lee's here? Lee's here? That's why you stayed? That's why you stayed? We don't know that for sure. Selena, I know how you must be feeling right now. Don't you dare tell me how I'm feeling. If it is Horn and his men, I will handle it. I'm going to help you. You want to what? I'm going to help you. I don't need your help. Well, you're going to get it. Selena, this is what Frank does. Let him handle this. These men killed my husband and my little boys in front of my eyes. And they raped me and left me for dead. Selena, there ain't nothing you can do to help. Well, then I can die trying. You don't know what you're talking about. Please, these men, they took my life away from me. Well, look, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head on back to town and, uh... 
Keep an eye on these fellas. In case it is Lee Horn. Selena. You're not a gunfighter, Selena. Please, I can help you. No. But you've been teaching me to shoot. Look, teaching you to shoot whiskey bottles is not the same as taking on Lee Horn and his gang. The murderers. They'll kill you. Like I said, I can die trying. No. But I can shoot as good no. as... No! Talk. Darling, give me a moment with my friends. All right, just a moment. Hey, we need to get out of here right now. The sheriff was in here. I'm telling you, he knows who we are. Let's go visit the sheriff. Huh? Boy! Sheriff. Howdy. <laughs> Good afternoon to you. <laughs> Give me a fright there. <laughs> I understand you met one of my boys. But I wanted to. Personally assure you that we're not here to cause any trouble in this sleepy little town of yours. If you want to take a night off the trail, we'll be gone tomorrow morning. Well, that, that'd be fine then. You okay, Sheriff? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine, just to... You don't look it. Well, I've been a little under the weather lately. <laughs> Here's nothing over there. Hey, Lee. Come take a look at this. <laughs> look like anyone you know. You're sure? I'm positive. <laughs> I like this guy. I really do. Anything else I can do for you? Missing one of your men? Scarlet. Send one of your girls down to see the kid. Where's he at? He's keeping the sheriff company. Be a good little girl and send one of them down. Just do what he says, Scarlet. Go. 
Last round, boys. Move the horses around back and get to bed. We got a long day tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Bartender Man. I wouldn't do that. You better cover yourself, miss. Who the hell are you? Where are the rest of you boys? Well, why don't you tell me who you are first? You killed Will Stevens and his boys. Raped his wife and left her for dead. Now the sheriff. He and that whore his wife, he and that whore his wife deserved it. Oh, I, I swear, this, it wasn't me, I swear to God. It wasn't me. I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. No, I didn't rape her. I didn't rape her. I didn't rape her. It was there was five of you. Where are the others? Where are they? Saloon? Yeah. No, but, uh, 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 Why did you come back to Bisbee? Because we wanted to finish. We wanted to finish. Finish what? <laughs> Not yet. No, I don't much like words. So you're gonna be quiet, you understand? Else you'll end up just like him. What are you doing? Back in a while. Unless you 
make a racket. Then I'll be back soon. Just leave me in here. Hey, Pete, you right? Wake up, you drunk bastard. What the hell did you do? Sleep down here all night? No. No sleep. Well, hurry up and get ready. We're riding out soon. Gotta go to the top. Well, then do it! Mighty nasty trick, you see. Pointing that gun at me. I got no truck with you. You raped me and you murdered my family. I had to. Lee Hort, he, he would have killed me. Killing me. Won't bring your husband back. Put the gun down. I will give you something your husband I'm Vilma. Go get him. Please let me out of here. Can you just open the door? I've been stuck here for hours. Who done this? 
Give me a name. I don't remember his name. You give me something else, or I will shoot you where you lie. All he said was about some man killing some man and raping his wife. That's all I remember. That's all I know. I swear it. Let me out of here, please. Killed Malie. They shot Tommy. We're just talking about Will Stevens. Think it's that bounty hunter? The one the sheriff's talking about, that Frank Allison. Lee! We need you to go find Pete. If he's still alive, we're gonna need him. What? I'll go. I told Chris to. And I'm telling you, I'll go. I need you on the balcony with that rifle. We can pick off anybody on the rooftops or down the street. This is twice as fast as us. He'll be down there in half the time. If you do this for me, Get going. I'm going. Just leave his horn. We gonna go get him? I'll handle him. You've done enough. But Frank! No! Horn's a cold killer. He's not like the others. He'll hit what he aims at. So stay here and stay down. When this is over, I'll come back for you. Frank? Be careful. Need this anymore. Now, who's your friend out there? Go to hell, you murdering son of a bitch. Well, that's the way you want to play it. Hello out there. I got something I think you're gonna want. You know, it's a pity it's come to this. If my friends would go where they were supposed to in the first place, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Surely there's a peaceful resolution we can come to. I got a lot of money and nobody to share with, so let's work something out, shall we? The only peaceful resolution is for you to throw down your guns and come out with your hands up, Lee Horn. You puppets. I got a better idea. 
I'm gonna count to five and you're gonna put your guns down. Or I'll put a bullet in her head. One, two, three! Here I am, Horn. I need to shoot her, let her go. The famous Frank Allison. Well, indeed, sir. It has been an honor. We got them, Will. We killed every last one of them. And they rot in hell for what they did to you and to my boys. We got them. How you feeling? This is for you. What is it? It's the word money for Lee Horn and his gang. Lee alone was worth over $500. The big one, he never raped me. Supposed to kill me, but he didn't. I reckon it's better I kill them then. Take this. I can't take it. That's a lot of money. You can rebuild your life, live easy for a long time. Where are you headed? Up to Naco, after a man for robbing a bank in Douglas. And back to Tombstone. The way you from? <laughs> 